What's up guys, so I'm back with another video and today we are going to discuss something which is a little more complex. Uh, this is essentially for intermediate lifters and advanced lifters. Rounding of the back during the deadlift. Now, rounding of the back during the deadlift is a very taboo practice, let's just say. It's absolutely bullshit form if you round your back during the deadlift. I agree. 99.9% .9 I agree to that fact. But we need to understand the details of how our back rounds. Because some of the best, some of the elite deadlifters in the world pull rounded back. Now, there are two parts to your back. One is the lumbar region and one is the thoracic region. The lumbar region, let's just say, is the spinal area it is the lower back and then the thoracic region is going to be your upper back when you're performing the deadlift right lumbar rounding is a recipe for disaster you've seen people pull cat back deadlifts like they have a cat like back that is a recipe for disaster never pull a deadlift like that lumbar rounding should never happen in the amount of sheer stress that it puts on your spine the amount of axial loading that it puts on your spine will will maim you don't do that but there are certain elite power lifters who are so well trained who grease the groove so frequently that they round their upper back which is the thoracic section of their back right in a slight rounded position to develop speed of the floor this is generally done for a conventional deadlift rounding the thoracic part of the back is not that bad only if you are experienced enough to control it because what they do is that their lower back is still in an arch only the upper back is rounding there is a slight round in the upper back the lower back is still arched so the spine is still protected the lumbar region is still arched only the thoracic region is rounding and the reason that thoracic region is uh, region is rounding is because it generates more speed off the floor and since their competition is about lifting more weight if you can generate more speed off the floor due to a particular technique they incorporate that technique right but this is we are talking about people who've been training for 15 years 20 years i've been training for almost nine years now i still don't do thoracic rounding right it is very difficult to keep your spine neutral and still round your thoracic region that is the amount of control that is the amount of experience you need right so it is a trick best left to the pros long story short thoracic rounding is okay if you can maintain the neutrality of the lumbar region essentially if you can maintain the neutrality of your spine and round the upper back individually then it is fine because it can generate more speed of the floor that's it it should not be done by beginners don't use it as a justification to justify your cat backed deadlift because a cat backed deadlift will only land you in the emergency ward of a hospital nowhere else the deadlift is a great exercise let's get stronger doing it not get injured doing it i'll be seeing you